my god. Hayes, oh. Hayes. That doesn't make for a pleasant walk. No. We haven't even been here. I think 50 seconds. There's a dog in the yeah. distance. She spots him. She spots him far away. And that's a long way away. There's seemingly a pattern to Hayes's behaviour. Everything fits together. Girl. Dog chasing reflections, being really triggered by movement. Regardless of her history, that this dog, I think, is a uh, predisposed to maybe chase things and would love to be able to chase things. There's so much frustration here. How much exercise does she actually get now? Only in the garden, really. Only Honestly. Garden. Take her out once every three weeks. OK. If we're brave enough, but okay. only just myself on my own. I've seen enough. Let's walk home, shall we? Come on. Come on. He's on a walk. Oh! All of that lunging and that barking and that spinning. And she's like it as soon as she gets out of the door. Because it's not only dogs, it's cars, it's movement. Hayes came from Spain. Can you tell me a little bit about the environment she was in? She had open run of the, basically, their, their mountains. So when she was on that mountainside, she was chasing after things when she was free. She'd be doing stuff yeah. that she really needs to do. So Victoria has brought them to a local secure dog walking field, many of which are dotted throughout the country, where they can learn to walk safely together. I want outside to be a lovely place for Hayes. I'm now going to take Hayes on a sniffy walk. She's going to go where she wants to go, and we're going to follow, as she's using her nose to smell things. The neurotransmitter called dopamine that's released, and it makes the dog feel good. Okay. This gives her confidence. All right? Let's go. Okay. Here we go. I'm actually letting her out on a long line. Mm -hmm. She's not really pulling me. She might a little bit. It gives her the chance to be able to discover her environment while still being safe. It's so nice to see her just walking and sniffing and taking it all in. Yeah. Not having to worry about another dog coming along. Bring her here twice a week and feel that freedom. At last, after two years, finally JJ can take the lead and walk Hayes. You are going to be walking your dog now. Not been able to do that ever, have you? No. Now you got Hayes. Is that feeling good? Yeah. All right, let's go for a walk. It's just so lovely to see JJ hold the lead and it's a step in the right direction. It really is. And I'm so glad and you're doing a great job. Previously, a frustrated Hayes would want to chase everything she saw. But in the secure field, she can build her confidence to a point where eventually the whole family can enjoy walks. When she's at a point where outside is actually good again, then you can start teaching her around cars and teaching her around other dogs. Seeing the difference in how she is today, it's incredible, isn't it, really? Yeah. I think that we'll be going on plenty of sniffy walks, don't you? Yeah. In the future, yeah, definitely. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.